in the backyard, sponsored by Custom Retaining Walls and Landscaping. Hi, this is uh, Chad with Custom Retaining Walls for In the Backyard. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about how to install a paper patio in your house. Um, first thing you want to do is excavate down um, so you can add your base material to the actual patio. Um, we usually recommend ex excavating down at least nine inches. That'll give you enough room for six inches of base rock, your one inch of sand, and then room for your pavers to sit on top. When you're going to install your base material, you want to start off with adding a good filter fabric underneath that to separate the actual base from the subsoil. You want to add your gravel in two to three inch lifts and compact that as you, add, as you install it. Um, after you add your gravel, you're going to screed out uh, one inch of sand. You can use either, either uh, like a pipe or a C-channel to get your consistent one inch of sand underneath your pavers. After you have your sand actually screeded, then it's time to lay your pavers. And that's just as simple as dropping the pavers down in a, in a pattern. Um, here we have Holland pavers installed in a herringbone pattern. Um, it's probably the easiest pattern to actually put in and the actual easiest pavers to install. After the pavers are installed, you're going to add an edge restraint to the actual pavers so they, they don't shift or move while you're walking on them. Um, you're going to hold that in with, this, with 10 inch spikes to actually go through the subsoil. Um, after that's done, you can compact the pavers with either a plate packer like this, or you can add, uh, use a, a hand tamper to pack them in. And then you're going to add palmier sand in the joints to stop any insects or weeds from growing through your pavers. After that's done, uh, the patio is pretty much done and you can enjoy your patio as you want. Um, this is Chad with Customer Retaining Walls and we'll see you next week in the backyard.